Hello friends, I am Vinay Mote, nature and wildlife photographer. Today I am going to talk about how changing focal length of your lens changes depth of field. In order to demonstrate this concept, I am going to use some diagrams and at the end we will see some examples as well. So let's get started. Now third and the last variable for depth of field is going to be a changing focal length. So we are assuming here that you got variable focal length lens. There are lengths available for the fixed length as well and this scenario will not be applicable for those fixed or prime lenses. So assuming that you got a variable focal length lens, we will continue and we will see some examples here. So changing the focal length also changes the depth of field. Less the focal length which is kind of a wide angle lens means more depth of field. So this is inversely proportional. If you are using wide angle lens and keeping the subjective distance same, your depth of field is going to be more. If you are using telephoto or zoom lens, then you are going to get less depth of field. So more the focal length means less depth of field. This is a bit tricky because the depth of field is inversely proportional to focal length. So if you have more focal length, then you got less depth of field. If you got less focal length, then you got more depth of field. And we are always keeping subject to distance as same. So let's take an example and see how it works out. So we are keeping f at same for all shots, which is f2.8. We are keeping the distance at 300 centimeter and we are going to take first shot with 70 mm. This is how it looks like. As you can see, depth of field is around 19 centimeter at this distance. At 100 mm, we just zoomed our lens a little bit more and depth of field has reduced to 9 centimeter. At around 200 mm, depth of field has been reduced drastically and it's now 2.25 centimeter. And you are getting that narrow depth of field. Everything which is at the back and the front is almost blurred. So if you do the exactly the reverse, if you are at 200 mm, you get basically less depth of field. But if you go to 100 mm, then you get more depth of field. And if you go a little bit more wider, then you get more depth of field. This is how it looks like. All right. I hope you understood the concept of how changing focal length changes depth of field. And that's all in this video. In next video, I'm going to talk about one interesting terminology, bokeh, and how the distance between subject and the background changes the bokeh effect. If you like this video, you can subscribe here or you can register on my website vinaymote.com in order to see more videos. Thanks for watching.